This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Legends of Fabled Realms. We're actually doing something different today because as you can see on the tabletop, we have a single building. Cad, what the, what's going on here? Well, we've got the City Watchtower. The um, Sellsword Guild are trying to get in and liberate a prisoner that might know a bit too much about some of the things they are up to. Oh. But he's too important to kill. Oh, so they have to get him out. They can't just shank him. All right, so are you taking control of the cell swords? Yeah, I am. All right. uh, I'm doing the bad job today. Well, it's not exactly bad. Uh, we also have Andy from Foreground here. Uh, Andy, I assume you're taking care of the Mordenberg State Guard? Yeah, I'm the one on duty, defending the tower, make sure nothing do worth go wrong. Okay, so law of adding sets in right here. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the way we're playing this out is quite different. So we have a single building, mm -hmm. which is going to be essentially our gaming map. Yep. for this mission. This is different to anything I have seen before. Actually laying out 3D pieces of terrain for a single huge building and making that a map sounds really cool. I want to see how it works in game. But let's quickly run through what the different levels of the tower are because there are quite a few levels to it. So we have the ground level here where your guys are just about to break in through the front doors. Yeah, so my guys are sneaking in at the moment. Yep. This level would normally be uh, on the tower, the cells, mm -hmm. but the prisoner's out of the cells. He's currently being interrogated. Yes. So I have to break in down here and try and either sneak or smash my way as quickly as possible to the... Uh, to the prisoner. I would smash my way in, but I'll leave people to argue about that in the comments. Okay, so you come in, you go up a level. Yeah. Can you get in through this level? Uh, I can't. On on the actual model, you could mm. get in up here on the third level. Ah, yes. There's some stairs up to it. But for gameplay purposes, I can't actually get in that level. Right. Stalkers, on the other hand, yeah. who um, you'll have heard about the Dragoi that can move through terrain, they can move vertically as long as it's not an overhang. Right, so yeah, this is the one I mentioned where it's them crawling out of the Jaxi. Yep, and the Jaxi's just around this side. Yeah. So, yeah, unfortunately for me, I can't do that. Okay, but whenever you come into that ground level, I assume you're fit just to walk in through the front doors? Yeah. You know, there's uh, probably some sleeping officer on desk? Well, no, there's nobody down here. Mm -hmm. Um, Andy's got his active people up there just uh -huh. so that there's a little bit of space between the two war bands because okay. the more noise I make, the more likely Andy's going to start activating extra see, models. So you have to break into the second level? Yes. Or lockpick your way in? Yeah. Right, once you get into there, I assume you have to hopefully not make noise here, get yeah. in, get yourself sorted and then move up to your next level. So what's on this one? That is where the fun will start for me because Ben, the halberdier, uh, is on that level, Right. as is John. If I manage to get up there very quietly and yep. the guys that are on duty haven't come down and seen what's happening, yep. which I think Adam's not, uh, Andy's not going to make very likely, right. um, then I will get in there, grab John, mm -hmm. pull him out as quickly as I can. Okay. So you're, you're getting him pulled out of the tower. Got it. Yep. Uh, Andy. I don't up, want that happening at all. So yeah. Moving up another level, I'm seeing you have your guys who are on active duty here. Yeah. So the only active unit I'm going to have to start is the spearmen mm -hmm. who are on watch and will yes. be reacting to any noise that CAD's going to be creating at yeah. the start. Then you, you've kind of seen someone shifting, moving in across the city streets. Exactly. So there's, I mean, like, there's maybe a guardsman peering over there going, oh, there's no good, no good looking fellas down, you know. Unfortunately, they've had a bit too much beer as well, so uh, they're uh, like they might need to go downstairs to relieve themselves. So we're, it yeah, might that, be another way down. That that could be unfortunate, you know, for Cad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we also have a, a room here. Is there anyone inside here yet? There's no one in this level okay. uh, inside. And then we move up. I think is there people in the next level up? This is the main barracks area. Okay. So in here we have the halberdiers and the archers who are sleeping off last night's drinks and the rest. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sensing that being a part of the Mordenberg State Guard is a good life. Well, Beer all round. It's been a quiet season. Uh, Not I much see. has gone on. Beer and then absolute terrifying death. You see, I would hope for some mead. Yeah, or mead. I love my honey wine. Yeah. Uh, moving up to the next level is probably where I would find it. Who's in here? This is the officers' quarters. We've got the three leaders of the Mordenberg State Guard in yeah. here. Um, they're strategizing at the moment. Haven't had as much to drink. so Should be a bit more on the ball, we hope. Yeah. We're civilized. Uh, we then have a top level which is empty. Yeah, and that's only because we're playing with. I've got the equivalent of my starter set, mm -hmm. and he's got his starter set, but you do get a few extra models in this scenario mm. because the issue you have is you've 
you're you're not as active yeah so for me it's kind of like if you've played a rescue scenario for a lot of games mm. normally the attacker you've got half of the models on the table and half the models off yeah. in this one andy's got all the models on the table mm -hmm. but they're not all active okay here's the important question then what is your exit strategy is it to like just get outside and jump off the side and book it or do you have to get back down i have to get away? back down and out right um I suppose there are rules for jumping and things like that, yeah. but we won't allow me to jump because if we did, one, I'd probably die. <laughs> Two, John would probably die. I, I, I don't know. If you threw Ben down first, he uh, yeah, get a soft laugh. Oh, no, he's wearing full plate. He is well wearing plate. You might need to toss a dwarf or two. We'll find out as it goes on. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's not do that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, yeah, my, my plan at the moment is hmm. to get to John as quickly as possible, yeah. and then probably put Dwarves and Karlek the uh, Orc in Andy's way mm. and hope that their heavy armor and high wounds stop him from being able to break through as I pull John out. All right, well, let, let's, let's take a moment. We lay out the map. So bring up a loading screen here, and uh, we'll be back in a second. OK, everybody, we are back. We have the battle map laid out. Now, the first thing to show you is we have our layout done here. So we have our dice pool because this is what you guys have changed to. Yep. We have somewhere for us to roll. We have each of the levels laid out. So you've kind of got a mini map thing going on here. Yes, we have. And then we have a close up to actually show you where people are within the rooms. So in this scenario, the attacker mm -hmm. starts as the active player. OK. So we'll generate our first turn's momentum. Mm -hmm. That's for both players. That's always your full command. So yes. for me, uh, Orphazine, the cell sword leader, has three, uh -huh. Karlek has three, and Marcus have three. So you're so on nine. nine. That's not yep. bad. What about yourself, Andy? Well, just a couple more. Uh, Rafa's going to be using four. Both Amelia and Pierre will be using three. So ten. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So yeah, they're, they're relatively similar. He gets a lot of bonuses to generating and creating extra momentum. Ah, I see. I see. And we, I can still see, we still have our decks and stuff here. So they're currently still in the rule set? Yeah. Um, so this is my abilities. So every character might have some minor special rules. Mm -hmm. Your decks give you sometimes extreme, maybe even quite nasty so like rules. The cinematic moments? Yeah, they're definitely the cinematic moments. Cool, cool. Um, you'll probably see a lot of them going off. And they're your spells as well. Got it. So, yeah, I'm the active player. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and go sneaky on this. OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send an Orphazine, because she's the best at picking locks. OK. Nimble Elf Fingers. Yeah, so she's your elf character. Yeah. And she's going to come in. Uh-huh. So I want to start moving very quickly. She's going to come in with two dwarves. Uh-huh. And a goblin. Goblins are really good at urban fighting because they have a special rule. All goblins have rule fight through. Okay. They can count as if their their base is a friendly base in base contact with them. Oh. So they can normally you can't strike somebody unless they're in base to base contact. Yeah. A goblin can go, yeah, but I'm actually that base, so I am in base to base contact. So you're in base with my friend, therefore you're in base with me. Yep. Got it. So I just imagine these little buggers just running around everybody else's legs. <laughs> you know, just stabbing your know, spears coming up between your leader's legs, going into the guts. Or in between your legs, which would be the worst thing. Uh, no, thank you. So I'm going to do a double action. Okay. So it's going to cost me two momentum. Uh huh. Um, normally we have our measure. Uh huh. Uh, so I can move five inches because I've got the dwarfs with me. So the first one actually takes me to the top of the stairs. Stairs, you just measure measure linear across i see and where are you coming from in here this is there a door door here so oh, i've already the 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 game has started with it already open got it because this is the point where i've broken in ah. so i'm going to move up to the top of the stairs andy though is able to declare a reaction indeed and i will be okay It'll what be, are you going to uh, do sir not from that pool uh doing a double move as well okay from where my first spearman who's going to be is it this one here yep the closest one he has Going downstairs to see what's going on. He's okay. feeling a bit like he needs to go down and check out. I'm going to use the same manoeuvre. Okay. This is also the good thing. We have enough space to get people moving. <laughs> okay, so he is coming from where he is, going inside and down yeah. to which level? So I'm getting about through here, down the stairs okay. um, to this level here. Okay. And then he's going to have enough move 
get down to this corridor. Okay, we'll zoom on in on that in a, a minute once you become the active player. I'm not going to bring the, the reactive player stuff into the super close camera just yet. So I'm now going to put my guys, they've gone straight up the stair, uh -huh. and they've gone, I'm going to swap these over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to show people. And as that um, stair ends there, I'm going to move there. Ah, so you're just standing like right here, yeah? Yep. Okay. So Morphazine's there. I see. Behind her is the first dwarf, which I'll put here. <laughs> and in this instance, our actions were completely non-conflicting, yep. so they are simultaneous. Yeah. But in the occasion where you decide it's non-conflicting, the active yeah. player moves their models first. Yeah, okay. So, unfortunately, they can't all be still on the same spot as each other. Yeah. <laughs> so they are in so this So you are little... just getting a little bit choked up here. Yep. So I'll swap it back in just to show okay. where my dwarves and stuff are. Go on ahead. Oh, I see. So the two dwarves are in front with the goblin yep. at the rear? Yeah. Okay. And in this game, I'm going to put the momentum I've spent on Orphazine. Oh, I see. Just so that it doesn't start covering yes. the map. Yes. So I now okay. have to declare another action. Yes. So I'm going to spend one momentum uh -huh. to get Orphazine to try and lockpick the door. Ah, uh, so do you want to switch her in there? Yep. Now, I think we have space to actually keep both of these in here. Okay. So just don't lose your momentum. And we'll there we go. There we go. Uh, that is probably better if I do that. So it matches. Oh, I see. There we go. Got it. Okay, so she's going to try and lockpick into this door then, yeah? Yep. Right. Uh, any reaction from you? Yeah, I'm uh, a bit more confident now. I've got at least one man downstairs. My next reaction is actually to see if any of my commanders are going to activate. Ah, okay. So do you have to see if they've heard noises? Yes. Has the guy showed it up on the way past and been heard? Yes, exactly. Uh, there's not been any noise yet, so unfortunately I'm just doing a normal situational awareness test. Okay. For Rafa, who I'm going to choose to activate, that's yeah. a green dice. And, and a green dice succeeds on a five or a six and he needs a success. Got it. That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the or <laughs> see that orc is hearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Rafa is going to be doing just a single move down the stairs. Okay, so he's coming from this level, yeah. going to this level? Yeah. Is that a full move or can he go further? He could go further, but he's probably wanting to grab some of those people on the way past. Yeah. I see, I see. Done? Yeah, that's me. All right, that, so I'm that was, that was Now, is he fully active now or will you have to roll for that again? He's fully active. So this is particularly bad for me. It's the worst start I could possibly <laughs> have. So I was going to try and lock pick. I declared I was lock picking, so I'm going to. Yeah. Um, now it doesn't really matter because Rafa's all, like awake. Yep. He can now group together other people with him. Right. Although, will he have to test to see if they're activating with him? No, he's now active, so he can start going, you, you, come to come with me, but only in a group. Okay, but so, what, are they not meant to be like drinking and stuff? Thematically, I would say he should be rolling to see if they actually listen and follow him. Ooh, maybe he has to take a command test. That'd be I, quite I would that, suggest yeah. that. Just, yeah. Okay, I, I know I'm hacking the game, <laughs> too, but I'm thinking that would just thematically work. Yeah, no, uh, we've set it up that way, so we'll go with it. Yeah, okay. um, I'm now going to do a lockpick test. Okay. Now this is done off situational awareness. Okay. Um, Orphazine's situational awareness is very high. Okay. She naturally has a red and a blue. Uh huh. But her natural speed as an elf means that she's more likely to do it quickly. Yes. So natural speed, you always gain a dice to your any situational awareness tests. Yes. So she's got red and two Green, greens. Green. Yeah. Okay. A red succeeds on a two plus. Yes. On a four or more, it's a critical. It counts as two successes. Yes. To lock pick a normal door. Yes. She has to pass. Two ah, successes. So is this a normal door she's lock picking her way through? Unfortunately, this is a secure door. It's got the two ah, double barrier. So she has to get three successes. Ah, I see. So good luck. Yeah. That is only two. So she didn't quite get through. Mm. Now, if she'd been trying to break through the door, she could have used the dwarves behind her to help her get through it. Yeah. So. That might have been better, but I, you declare and then you attempt the action. Yeah, and Andy, you got lucky having your guy active. Yeah, he yeah. shouldn't have gone. I'll put them back there. Um, so so what, to, what to do now, Cad? Unfortunately, she needs to. She can take one more momentum. Uh huh. So I'm going to do one more on uh -huh. her, and then that'll be to attempt to lock pick again. <laughs> okay. Because she needs to get through there. Uh, Andy, any reaction? Yeah, well, I'm going to make use of Rafa now being available. Uh, I'm going to use a momentum to try and activate the nearby uh, archers. Okay. 
His command is a purple dice, which okay. succeeds on a three. Okay, so there's a good chance of this. Likewise, yep. is big it lumps. successes for a number of men? Yep. Let's go for it. So I've only got four, so it's just one one of the troops has joined him. Okay. So just to let you know, a critical is always two higher than what you started with. Yes. So a purple is hit, uh, three plus success, mm -hmm. so criticals are five and six. Yeah. Still, it's it's not bad command, being able to just bellow at the troops and get them going. Yeah. The chance to actually just make it happen to begin with is pretty good. And he's also, don't forget, heavily drilled, because they're modern mm. state guards, so you get that extra blue. It would have been a blue. Ah, okay. Uh, Which I did not make. Yeah, a blue is a four plus. Ah, uh, so so basically, Rafa has rounded and went, "Oi, you lot! I hear something down there. Come on!" The rest of them went, "Eh, what? Well, sorry," and they flipped a coin to see who has to follow him. Yep. So you so, assume you have your move die. Just that one there. Which one are you taking? Sorry. So take the one on the left. The bowman. So I assume yep. Rafa goes and this bowman. Yep. Okay. Straight and down they to come the next down level. to this next level down. Bush. Right, I'm going to attempt to lockpick the door again. Yep, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> I think I need it now. Most inept lockpicker ever. She is not now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, red dice hits on a two plus, success. Yep. So that's a critical, two successes. Yep. Green dice hit on fives. So that's two more successes. She's yep. got four successes. The door is opened. Ah, uh, okay. And can she move on from the lockpick, or does she have to spend another action? I would have had to declare to lockpick and move. Ah. So the door's open, though. Yes. So that's good for me. Yes, and you guys can start actually getting yourselves moving. Yeah. So what's going to happen now mm. is you can move through your own models. You can't end on them. I see. So what's going to happen is... So she's backed up into the corner. Like, come on, go, go, yeah. go, go, go. So she's just broken the door. Um, think of them like... My soul swords are definitely like SWAT. Ah. Uh, really incompetent SWAT, <laughs> but... <laughs> well, I don't know, boisterous, loud, you know, you've got at least one guy who, a couple of guys who are, you know, good and punchy, you've got that one sneaky little bugger on the team that nobody likes. <laughs> Sounds like SWAT to me. Um, so, the next guy in is going to be Karlek. Okay. He's going to double move again. Oh, okay. So he's going to go five inches to there, uh -huh. which is to here, and then he's going to move around up the stairs here. Oh, he's really booking it. Yeah, well, I have to get there quickly. Rafa's up now. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to take me two momentum. Okay, well, grab your guy and get him going. But I'm going to be reacting as well. Oh, dear. Uh, it's going to be, have to be a bit of orc on orc, I think, as uh, Rafa's heading down the stairs. Okay. So from where Rafa is here, he's coming down to the next level. Yep. He starts from here. Yep. So we're going to be ending with the archer coming down first. Uh-huh. To here. And then Rafa ending on this step. I see. Again, this is one of those things that I love about Fabled Realms. It's that non-aggressive interaction that you can have during your inactive turn, where you can actually just get yourself into position and ready for some stuff. Although, does that not mean that the Kazork is literally standing at the head of the stairs, staring he in? He is there. Just round the corner. Yeah, so he's here and you're here. So he's just seen you run down the stairs. Eep. Yep. Hang on, lads. Uh, cards, have we drawn? No, we haven't drawn. Um, it's one thing not to forget with the game. Because yeah. um, I'm about to go into a fight with somebody I don't necessarily want to fight with one of my heroes. Yep. And I don't have any combat cards or yeah, uh, any of the cinematic the defensive moments. cards. So. He has no... Yeah. All right, draw your cards now. Because you both didn't do it, I'm going to call that as at least fair because they both forgot. Sound fair? Yeah, I'm right. happy with it anyway. <laughs> oh dear, did you get some goodies? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. How could you be happy with it? I got some, depending on who I get upstairs next. Okay. And you saw mm. Mandy? Happy? Not happy? Uh, it's not ideally. Oh dear. It's uh, mainly for those that are kind of still sleeping their, their headaches off. Oh, right. So, okay. My next action, yeah. I'm going to bring in my gnome. He's going to have to do a double action, okay? Um, which is good because in the game you can't react. You can only react to the active unit. Yeah. So these aren't active. So Andy can't just charge through them either. Ah, I see. Clever. So if you think of it almost uh, in World War II terms, sometimes if you've got a machine gun firing, yeah, you're not going to be bothered about the guys that are not doing anything lying down. Yeah. So. I'm going to declare Marcus is going to move up to here, my wizard. There's a reason for that. He can provide support magically uh -huh. 
up the stairs. Ah, oh, I see. So, Andy, any reply to this? Yeah, I'm going to be using, trying to get the wizards off the top because I've got a couple of spells I might want wizards? to use. Yeah, well, oh yeah, you've got wizards up there. I've got both Melia and I've got... Right. My, so you're trying yeah. to wake them up? Yep, yeah, so it's going to be a momentum to try and use a green die for them. Uh -huh. well, I'm going to move Marcus in the meantime because it's not okay. conflicting. Roll it. Oh, yes. <laughs> what is it with the... They're fully <laughs> awake up there, they're going, who's going next? Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the one has turned to the other and went, whose turn is it? You know, they're probably sitting playing cards going, Rafa, go find him. <laughs> it's been too long. So Pierre is going to move down to the next level. Yep. And then in his next turn, he'll and see who picks up. And is the other wizard going to move with him? Or does she still have to activate? She hasn't activated. No. So he ah. could have tried to activate her the same way that uh, Rafa activated somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Um, now what I'm going to do is I've only got one momentum left. Yep. Um... I'll put that back on Marcus. Okay. I'm going to declare Karlek is going to charge right into that bowman. Uh, oh, really? Because the bowman... Not, is just not Rafa? They'll hit Rafa at the same time. They're both the same unit. Oh, I see. And luckily, that spearman is not part of their unit, so he can't fight in the combat. Okay, well, let's, let's trade out on the zoom yep. in camera. So let's take away the bottom level, bring in the next one up, because we're about to have to see what's going on here. So orientate, please. And that should look nice. There you go. Uh, ah, so they're lining up like so. Yep. Gotcha. So Andy now can declare a reaction. Mm-hmm. Well, you're gonna punch back. If she's gonna go, she's gonna do it with a bow in her hand. So it's gonna be a shot at you coming towards him. Right. Okay. So. Is this now opposed? Yeah, because if I, I don't want to be shot. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's going to be a situational awareness roll off. Okay. Um, so with all dice rolls, there's an attacker and a, a defender. Mm -hmm. In this case, I am the defender. Okay. No, I'm the attacker. So I, Andy has to cancel off all of my dice. Right. If it's a zero, I win. Okay. So you win ties. Yeah, I win ties in Got situational it. awareness roll offs. So my situational awareness for Karlek is pretty appalling. It's a green. Ah. But I get some bonuses. And these models are both bulky. They've got good armor. Right. So I get an extra green dice. Oh, so I've got okay. two green dice. Awesome. So I've rolled one success. Okay. And I'll put them just there. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Andy now gets to roll back. Mm -hmm. Rafa's uh, situation awareness is also green. And yes. I am also bulky. And the bull woman? Uh, she's um, also Oops. green. Yeah. So she's not actually a higher situational awareness than him. Ah, uh, so you yeah. work off your best? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Oh, go ahead, Andy. None. None. So you got no successes. So I get to choose whether I want to activate first or second. I can guess. Yeah, so in this case scenario, I'm going to go first. And I'm going to place him just at the top here. Move them a little bit. Because the stairs are yeah. causing him some problems. Luckily, the goblins are with him. So this goblin is actually at the top of the stairs directly behind him. <laughs> and this goblin... It's directly behind that one. I see. So, what that'll allow me to do is this goblin can fight through him. Yeah. I'll put that That's one good. back. I just I haven't balanced on top of the wall. We know where it is. There you go. Okay. So, I'm also going to play a card. Okay. This isn't actually a combat related card. Um, I can play it any time, okay. even though it's going to boost my combat. Okay. So, Marcus has just seen. Okay. Oh, um, you're casting a, a fireball? No, and I cast flaming weapon. Ah. So Marcus has just seen Karlek, and Karlek's gone, very hey, right, fire. <laughs> so so uh, over the shoulder, give us a light. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to cast this. Uh, for every success I get, I get a blue dice to my combat. Oh, so you get to roll additionals? Yes. Oh, that's vicious. So Karlek um, is already very vicious in combat. Yeah. Marcus gets to roll his magic which is a purple and a green uh -huh. for his skill, and he gets nat natural magicka green. I see, so he's not bad. No, so I'm gonna try and cast it. I need successes, mm -hmm. so three plus on the purple, five plus on the green. Yeah. If the purple gets a critical, that's two successes. Yeah. So unfortunately, that was one. Still an extra die? Yeah, so he's put an extra die and I've put it on top of my combat. Yeah. Now, that was before the combat happened, so my right. card gets discarded. Yeah. 
I then have to decide if I'm going to play any combat cards, and Andy can respond with combat cards and to me. Because you're the aggressor, you go first? I go Because I'm the active player, I go ah. first. So unfortunately, mm -hmm. I don't have any that I want to play. I see. So that was the best one I could play, and it didn't go well. <laughs> what about yourself, Andy? Um, I wouldn't play my deadly cut, in okay, fact. So what's this going to do for us? Uh, this one will allow me, because <clears throat> um, it goes off automatically, there's no mm -hmm. test. Uh, with that one, he's able to, um, when he spends, when he's got past my defences, yes. if he's yeah. scored a critical, uh -huh. it's three wounds oh. instead of two. Okay. No, so so I, if I've cancelled off all of his criticals, it's really good for me because that card is effectively useless. I see. This, this is the thing, whenever games in beta, you have so many versions of cards yes. and rules and stuff. Yeah. This is that mode of, uh, which one is it? Which one? <laughs> um, so we now go through situational awareness order. Yes. So. The highest situational awareness in the combat is actually the goblins. Really? Yeah, their situational awareness is three. They've got a green dice, which counts as two, uh -huh. and a yellow dice, which counts as one. <laughs> now, bulky normally doesn't provide any dice benefits, but what it does is when you count those levels, you yes. reduce it by the level of bulky. Uh -huh. So, Karlek is situational awareness two normally. He's got a yes. green dice. He's bulky one, so he's situational awareness one. And you've got to think of it like your initiative in like Warhammer yeah, or D&D yeah, yeah. Um, &D even. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so goblins fight first? Goblins fight first. So my goblins mm -hmm. get two yellow dice naturally uh -huh. from their skill. I see. A green dice from their spear. I see. They get a green dice because they're aggressive. Green. Uh-huh. I've also just charged into a combat. Uh-huh. So I get an extra green dice. Yikes. Now, if you remember what we said about um, goblins, that yeah. they can count the friend's base as theirs. Yeah. Right? This goblin can count Karlek's base as his. Uh -huh. This goblin can count his base as his and has a spear. Oh. That's two lots of this. Two lots of that? Because the goblins are all going to go together. OK. Now, I'd have to decide where I'm going to allocate my attacks. So I could either put it all into Rafa. Yeah. Or into the bowman. Now I'm going to go for the bowman. Really? What's Rafa's wounds like? He's got um, nine wounds, so he's yeah. very tough, and yeah. he's got really good armor. Okay. And he can parry their blows. Got it. So he can force me to re-roll. And these dice are not very good. Yellows only score successes on a six. Yeah. Greens only score successes on a five. Yeah. So I'm going for the w killer model. Yeah. Or chips and wounds. Chips and wounds. So I'm going to try and kill a model. Okay. So I'm going to roll all these dice together. Yeah, go for it. That's not what I wanted to see. Ooh, that's one. That's one. That is one thing I like with this new dice system, p the, the picking up, the reading of it. You're seeing the colors, so you're thinking of the target number. Very, yeah. very quick to pick up. Yes. And it's one of the changes with the custom dice. We found people found the picking up of the symbols, not necessarily the symbols themselves and what they meant, yeah. but the fact that as, as an attacker it meant one thing and as a defender it sometimes meant something different. Yeah, for, for me it's, the way I always describe that is when you do custom dice it's like learning a miniaturized language. Yeah. You know, whereas I know the way Big Ben uh, has described this is it's like learning another dialect of a yes. language. Which, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, and this is like slightly different. And the main reason I'm now talking is because Andy's about to stop that attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best thing about the Bornenberg State Guard is okay. very nice armor. And there's a downside to attacking a model together. Okay. So you've got lots of people all trying in a scrum. Uh -huh. He gets an extra blue dice for each attacker after the first. So one extra blue? Yeah, one extra blue to go with the purple. Okay. And he only needs to block my single success. Okay, go for it. He does? He does. In fact, he would have blocked two because that's a critical. Yep. So my goblins are uh, kind of flailed about a bit, and I, I thought I'd end up doing more than I did. Uh, I, I don't know. I imagine the archer just standing going, no, no, don't get, 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 get. <laughs> Um Now, in the case of the same situation awareness level, mm -hmm. Karlek is one, the Mordenberg State Guard are on one. Uh -huh. In this case, both Rafa and the Bowman. The active player goes first, but it counts as simultaneous. Okay. So if I kill any of them, it's not really going to matter. All right. Well, uh, build your dice pool. What's your combat yeah. like? So my combat for Rafa is two purples for his skill. Uh-huh. It is a red, uh, not Ra Rafa, Karlek. Oh, sorry. A red and a blue for his um, greatsword. Uh-huh. And he's aggressive, and he got that extra blue from the spell. That's not a bad handful of dice to be thrown. It isn't. And I'm mm. going to do something that might surprise Andy a bit. Uh -huh. I'm just going to kill that bowman. 
Really? Yeah, because I could try and go for Rafa, but I'm not going to make any difference, and I need to start making headway into this room. I see, I that see. Yeah, because yeah. from where you are here, you're, you're literally just bottlenecked right there. Yeah, and the goblins are helping, Yeah. but the problem with the Mordenberg State Guard is they're very tough. Yeah. So, so, what do you get? so a three, that was a hit. Uh-huh. Two criticals. Yep. So and a success. Five? Uh, yeah, that's no, that's six. Six. Two yeah. criticals. Oh yeah, sorry. Two successes. So six hits. Six hits. Um, and he can only block two of them. He's only got a purple dice. Ah uh, yeah. So he's dead. Four gone through, dead. Four wounds. Uh, human has two wounds. They're a bit tougher than goblins and things. Yeah, yeah. But not tough enough. So take that archer away. First blood to the, the cell swords. Yeah. So the only problem with playing with 3D terrain can be <laughs> getting, getting the finger everybody out. So you can have this one back. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> he also um, takes two fear tokens because I've caused two wounds to his unit. I see. We're using dice for these, so just so that it's less cluttered at the moment. Yeah. You, you do get fear tokens in the set. You also get the dice in the starter set as well. So you have the option? Yes. That's nice. So Andy now gets to attack back. Mm -hmm. um, he can pick which model, so it could be the Bowman first because it was the same situation awareness. Yeah, yeah, just get her out of the way, see if uh, she can make an impact on the <laughs> with her. <laughs> Single green, no, nope. nope. nothing happening there. Uh, what's the dice pool for the other fella? And now this is going to be a little bit different. Rafa's naturally a green and a purple, uh -huh. a red and a blue for his sword. Oh, that's not a bad people. And he's aggressive. And the aggressiveness, which is another green. So he's not bad, mm. but... Yeah, your guys just a little bit better. Yeah, uh, yeah. he's more combat orientated, mm -hmm. yeah. and he's more stamina orientated. That's so not so fun. That's me, not though. a good role, though. Right, and I can also parry. I've got a sword, so I can force no, he, Andy to re-roll a dice. He played deadly cuts. He did. If that gets through, that will yeah. cause three wounds. Ah, uh, so it's not causing three criticals for you to defend. It's no, three no. wounds. Got yeah. It. So I'm going to parry that because I hope it's going to go down. Now parry allows me to re -roll, make Andy re-roll a dice. Mm -hmm. So can you re-roll that one, please? The only one. Yep. Oh! It is still a six. It's still a six. Right, Fair so enough. I now have to try and block it with my armor. My armor isn't very good. Well, right, it's okay. It's just a purple. Yep. He's in half plate. So Andy's got his critical. I need to block one of them to turn it into a single success, which yep. is great because that stops it being three wounds to one. Yep. So I need a three or more. A three? A three. So I turn Andy's into a normal success. Yeah. Which means that it's no longer a critical. He can't yes. spend it to cause three wounds. Yes. I take a single wound. So I'm all up. <sighs> yeah. That's a flesh wound. Yeah, and we're once again we're using the little dice for this. Yeah. Um, just to keep it less cluttered. If you're playing on a four by four or six by four board, you're not probably as worried about it. Yeah. But see, I don't know, it comes down to personal preference at that point, whether you yeah. want to count the numbers with the dice or just having little stacks of tokens. Yeah, and people different people like different things and we, yeah. we don't want somebody to feel they have to use tokens nice or to have, have to use dice. Nice yeah. to okay, uh, what's the next thing then? Do you have any more momentum to I am now through? spent up. Oh dear. Which is good for me because I don't want anything more necessarily to happen. Mm -hmm. I maybe wanted, could have tried to power through Rafa. Yeah. The downside is I can't swing in here and start fighting that spearman. Mm -hmm. But and Andy will be able to activate first. Yeah. But it's all it's not so bad. Yeah. yeah. So that's the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, end of the turn. What do we do for cleanup? Right. So for cleanup. The active player would remove any unspent momentum. So I could have ended the turn earlier. I could have gone, tried to put lockpick the door, failed to lockpick the door. There's no way I can get in. And I'm like, yeah. well, I might as well end the turn. Yes. Rather than let Andy move more things around. Yes. Because I don't have any momentum left, that's good for me. I remove all momentum that's spent on the table. Yeah. And Andy does the same. Yep. And Andy, you were spending quite a bit of momentum there. I was, you but were a little with it. the Mornbergs still have a few bits left over. And I'm the reactive player, so I get to keep my momentum. Okay, how much do you have left? I have three left ah. going into the next turn. So we both generate momentum. Now I generate momentum equal to all my characters' command. Mm -hmm. So I generate nine momentum again. Nice. And I'll be generating on just my leader. Uh -huh. And Rafa's going to be getting me four. That's actually really good, having a leader giving you four. Yeah. Well, if I'd gone for Rafa yeah. instead of the, um, the archer, mm -hmm. it would have been harder for me to kill him. But if I'd yeah. killed him, I'd have denied Andy the four momentum. Yeah. He'd have dropped back to one of his other characters, which isn't as much of a difference. It's only three. But at the end of this active turn, yeah. Andy's going to be getting ten. Yeah. If I kill Rafa, he's only getting six. 
Yeah, and Raph is right up in your grill, so you're yeah. maybe going to push your luck a bit. Yes, and then at the start of the next turn, we'll be drawing cards again. Uh, so I'm hoping to get cards related to Karlek. Got it. Andy, then, uh, right. where are you going to go, mate? Well, uh, we draw cards first at the oh, start of the cards? turn. Okay, yeah, yeah, there you go. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. I, I want to see stuff. Kill and get me out. Wow. Oh, yeah. I appear to be very magic heavy. So my first action, which will be a double action, uh -huh. is to activate Pierre okay. to see so if he can bring any people with him and then head down the stairs. Andy, unfortunately for me, got five sound from the fight. There were five people involved in the fight. Oh, dear. So there's loads of noise ro happening downstairs. I see. So he's got, he can spend these to add an extra green dice to any tests related to activating people. I see. Uh, well, so he has to activate. Is he trying to bring any of the troops with him? Yeah. I'm going to go and get both halberdiers. Okay. It's going to make two command tests. Uh huh. So I'm going to use two of those noise on the first one. Okay. And get a success. Yeah. And then the same again on the other one, but with three green dice for the other three noise. Okay. Oh. And Ooh. not make it this time. The other one doesn't really care so much. No. Okay, so <laughs> it's really noisy downstairs, but he couldn't care so less. Pierre comes he rolled over Pierre and yeah. put his head under his pillow. With one halberdier. That could be bad for you, Cad. Yeah. And luckily for me, Andy's locked in combat, so he can't shoot into it. Yes. So the goblins that are at the back, are, when he, they see him going to cast whatever nasty thing he'd like yeah. to cast, they're going to hide. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a big guy in front of them. Yeah. You know, they could probably hide one behind each leg, <laughs> yeah. just for the size of him. Climb on his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, ultimate <laughs> stealth. <laughs> yeah. So, Andy, I'm not going to react to it. Uh, uh, the reason I'm not going to react is I've got the elf backed up here, mm -hmm. who I don't want visible to Andy, yeah. and I've got these guys can't react, they're in combat. Right, and you wouldn't want to maybe bring your dwarves up from way over there? Ah, I don't want them to come out here. Back in here so we can see them. I don't want them to end up in here. Oh, I see. Just in case they get seen. I see. Because they'll start taking magic spells and they won't be able to stop it. Got it. And unfortunately I can't see Pierre yet because he's there and my gnome's there. Oh, I see. So, I see. He's up right behind the corner? Yeah. Interesting. Aye, well, his last activation will be to get to the top of the stairs. Okay, so from here... He's going to come down there? on his own or with the halberdier? Uh, he's going to go down first. Okay, so there you go. Now, from there, Marcus will be able to see up at him. He'll be able I to see, see his body. So I'm going to do a shooting attack with Marcus. Uh, okay. So the shooting attack I'm going to do, I'm going to mm -hmm. fire my pistol, but... Or do I cast magic? I think I'm going to cast magic. Start? Oh, our best stat is magic. He's a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, no. I'm called for a reference. <laughs> um, so I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast Fireball. Okay. And then this will allow me to shoot him, potentially, uh -huh. with a very nasty spell. Okay, so what's mm -hmm. it doing dice-wise? Uh, that's going to do... Uh, it's a magic test, so it'd be a red mm -hmm. and two greens. If I roll... A purple and two greens, sorry. If I roll any criticals, I get another purple dice. They don't generate additional criticals because it's a relatively basic spell, yeah. but it's still quite burning. Yeah. Unfortunately, Andy can declare that he'd like this to be a conflicting action. Which I will, unsurprisingly. Because if I was going to shoot him, uh -huh. so I looked up to see if there's anybody there to shoot. If Andy wins, there was nobody yeah, there at that moment in time. Who's quick enough on the draw to actually throw out a ball? Yeah. Yeah. So, are you casting a spell back, or what are you doing? Uh, my action is still just the move action. Because he declares his action first. So, I I, mm. he went, I'm moving here, and I went, ah, I I'm going to burn you. But I'm going to see if I can win the situational awareness roll-off uh -huh. to have Cad actually act first, in which case they try to fling the spell, but I'm not there. I haven't gone downstairs yet. I see. And the benefit of spells is that if you can't cast shooting spells, they go yeah. back into your hand. Uh, that's but that's because they're a very limited resource. Yeah. All right, well, uh, roll your situational awareness. Who has so what? Andy rolls first. And looks like I've fluffed it. <laughs> so okay. I need a single success, because if I get one, I yeah. win. Yeah, and if it's a tie, Andy wins. Yep. Yeah. Now, luckily for me, uh -huh. Marcus is also a green and a yellow from his skill. Yep. Yeah. Andy brought the halberdier with him. 
Who's bulky? Ah. Thank you, Albert here. Yes. Making noise. Yeah. Ah. Oh, well, that was a miss. But yeah. I'll roll that one again. That's it. Oh. So. I think I should be have to re-roll that one <laughs> due to the fact that I picked it up as it was rolling off. No, it's okay. I'm happy yeah. with that. Yeah. So I'm going to cast my fireball. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. It's almost like a Kamehameha. <laughs> well, let's not start talking anime. Yeah. So um, that's, a, he, that's an entirely different show I have in the works. <laughs> really? I thought I wouldn't mind, but I don't know if the the actual audience out there would enjoy seeing me sitting down with people talking about anime. Maybe that should be one of the if people comment on it. You never know. Maybe, guys, if you like the idea, go ahead. So he gets a purple and a green for his skills. Yeah. He gets an extra green for his natural magicka. Mm -hmm. This one I want a five or six on because then I'll get an extra purple dice. Ah yes. That is not what I wanted. So that's a single success. Uh huh. Luckily, the person I'm hitting the closest target is Pierre, yeah. who's a little known. Yeah. So what's his defense? He's is he wearing flammable objects, robes and such? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, it's just going to be his size to see whether or not he can try and dodge it. Okay. So um, that's getting him a blue and a yellow. And he, <laughs> and he couldn't. No, nope, not nimble enough today. So blue succeed on a four plus, like we said. Yeah. Yellow's on a six. Yeah. No successes. Unfortunately for me, I only rolled one success. So Andy takes one wound. That's OK. Yeah. And he takes a fear good. token as well. Oh, ah, yes. So there you go. So how many wounds does he have? Uh, Pierre has four. Man. Four. Oh, you could have you could have done it. Yeah. And what's better is if he tries to activate him again, yeah. I get to try and shoot again. Oh, I see. I, I, Marcus is an experienced wizard, yeah. and he knows sometimes magic runs out. That's why he carries a black powder pistol with him everywhere he goes. So if I run out of fireballs, I'm going to be blowing people's faces off instead. Uh, now you remember Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. the Stranger Tides, the one little crew member who runs up at the bottom with the blunderbuss? Ha! <laughs> yep, it's exactly like that. Yeah. So, there you go. Right. Oh, Just, and your fireball has to go to your discard? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I now discard it. Yes. I think I'm doing something a bit sneaky now. Okay, what you got? In this uh, close quarters combat. I'm going to be playing a Mordenberg State card card, the Drill Tactics, which uh -huh. allows me to activate two units. I see. As a oh. part of a command test. Oh, my. So yeah, he has to declare which units he's activating, and one of them is the source that has to pay the momentum. Okay, so who's it going to be in here? So Rafa, as leader, must be making the commands. He'll be using the drill tactics, and he's going to try to activate Pierre with the halberdier. Both of them will be doing a charge action. Oh, they're charging into me, the yeah. nasty blighters. <laughs> so I'm going to react by Marcus shooting again. Yes. And he's going to shoot. I said about running out of fireballs, but I'm not going to any time soon. <laughs> you have another fireball? I've got another fireball. <laughs> but there's the other one, just in case. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I, no. I see it. I'm keeping everybody playing level. I've just got the six in my pocket to worry about. Right. So it's a situational one. Uh, first of all, he has to take the command test. Yep. See if the tactics go. The and, and they do. He you one got action. the extra blue. Oh, yes. For being Mordenberg State Guard. Yep. Which <laughs> hasn't helped, helped yet. Um, but it does mean that Pierre can do a single action. Yeah. That can be to charge into combat because he's got a five inch charge. Yeah, but it is conflicting. It's still conflicting. So Andy rolls first. He rolls a green and a yellow. Mm -hmm. Now the person, uh, a green, the person the situational awareness test goes off of is the person giving the order in the case of drill tactics. Right. Mm. So Rafa gave the order, which is good for me. He's less situationally aware than um, Pierre, uh -huh. but it was good for Andy because otherwise Pierre would have been kind of just going in flailing by himself. <laughs> okay, so, oh, it's just a green? Yep. And it's a fail, unfortunately. No good. So Marcus, once again, gets two greens and a yellow. Yeah. He does And it. I got a single success. So Marcus is going to shoot his magic off. Yeah. Fireballs from the hip. Burn him. Hopefully. Uh, five or six on the purple means I get an extra purple. No, Only a oh single no. success again. Oof. So roll to save, Andy. Yeah. Discard the card as well. Oh, that's not good. It's one success. One success. He blocked the fireball. Just. Just. Right. This is the thing. Your guy's probably standing there going, 
Oh, yeah, no, I'd let the candles. Yeah, he would have been better off firing his pistol at the moment. Really? <laughs> no. The, the uh, pistols are blue and a, uh, green for him. Yeah. So it's not particularly good. His yeah. magic was better. It's just my rolling was not particularly good. Yeah. And for those at home, just remind me of the, the five levels of dice you guys use. So yeah. It starts yellow, green, blue, yeah. purple, red. Yeah, and they basically just go down by one. So yellow is six, green is five, yeah. blue is four. Purple is three, red is two. Yeah. And then criticals is two higher. So effectively, greens and yellows can never critical. Yes, okay. Right. right. Andy would normally have to charge the closest unengaged model yeah. into the closest model. Does that not that leave him hooking down over the banister? Yeah. Well, no, he, he, because he can't reach me, uh -huh. um, he would then go to the closest engaged model if he wants to. Okay. He's got a choice of whoever he likes. But I won the situation awareness roll off, and Andy yeah. was declaring two. He was act fighting mm -hmm. and then charging. Yes. So I'm gonna. I get to pick which order these things happen in. So I'm gonna let Rafa by himself fight. Then the charge will go in, and unfortunately, I'll get fought again. Yeah. Andy could have let the charge go in first, and then fought two rounds with three people because they become one unit. Got I it. don't want that. <laughs> so okay. I will let. Rafa and Karlek fight first. Okay. Um, Andy is the active player, so he can. First of all, swing a model mm -hmm. around another model's base. Okay. I'm going to use to get a bit more space in here. It's getting cramped. And also, that stops me getting through the door I want to get through. Yeah. So it's, it's forcing you to kill his hero now. Yeah. Um, and he also, I would then get to do the same. Mm -hmm. But I can't engage this guy because he's not in the fight. So I can't just push into another unit. Oh, I see. So, Andy as the active player plays the first combat card. And then tasty. <sighs> spell, 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 spell. I think I might have to skip this round. Okay, it is getting very tight in here. Yeah. I do have to wonder, is, is Big Ben in here just continuing to question this guy? If you've ever been in a room with Big Ben, yeah. when he's on a run, I then, know you know, <laughs> then you know what's actually happening in that room. <laughs> There's all this noise going on outside and Ben's going, and the Dragoi. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're playing nothing. So that means you get to play one. Yep. And I am also not going to play one. Ooh, okay. Well, build your pools. Oh. So Andy strikes first. There we are. Red, okay. blue, purple, double green. Ouch. Ooh. That's not a bad roll for me again. Mm. He's only got one hit. I've got a parry, so I'm going to force him to parry the red dice. Do you know the higher situational awareness? I, I, my goblins do, yes. I forgot they were even involved. Yeah. Ah. So I would set that out to the side? Yeah. Well, actually, it failed anyway, okay? No, 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 that was uh, still a critical. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so my goblins, yeah. uh, they get their dice. They get yeah. two yellows for their skill, Yeah. a green, for their spear, a green for aggressive. Yep. And then the two of them are both going to punch Rafa at the same time. Okay. Well, or flail wildly at him. Oh, no, they And have... roll a shed load of hits. Um, good morning, my old son. They, they so saw an opening. How many is that? Five successes. Andy, would you like to parry any of those? Uh, I think I'll parry that yellow one. I thought you would. <laughs> So it's forcing me to re-roll a dice. Yep. Unfortunately, I didn't get another six. Yep. And the probability of the, the yellow being the most likely to fail, definitely the one to choose to re-roll. Yeah, so it varies. Sometimes it's good to re-roll criticals because you know they're two successes, uh -huh. especially a critical on a blue, because yeah. it's a, once again, it's re-rolling a six to six, get a six. Yeah. Yellows otherwise are the best to make them re-roll. And they'll be doing a single red and blue for his normal defense, uh -huh. and then double blue for so many goblins coming yeah. in. One extra blue. One, There's only two goblins. Oh Is yeah. For Raf ah yeah. yeah. Wrong one. I don't mind you throwing away your red. Ooh. Ah, uh, seems nice. to be on my. So oh, no, the red's, a the success. red's a success. So that's three more wounds on Rafa. Three initial wounds, I think. Is it three initial? Oh yeah, he's no, it's Pierre that's been a bit yeah. toasty. But that takes him to half health. Uh, no, he's got nine wounds. Oh, so never mind. <laughs> so he's he's but up he's to five a five fear. But up to five fear, which is good for me because he's a single model by himself. <laughs> he's not about to be a single model by himself, <laughs> but he is at the moment. Right, so, so he attacked and- Caused a critical. critical. So I'm gonna roll my purple defense. Yep. I rolled Four. a six. Critical. So that's critical, so I 
two successes versus two successes, I cancel it out. Yeah. Then I get Kamek back. Yeah. So he gets two purples. Uh huh. From his skill. Yep. A red and a blue from his sword, and a green from his aggressive. Now I'm gonna hope I'm gonna cut cut Rafa in half. Maybe. Uh, uh that's. That is two two criticals and a success. That's five damage. Five, yeah. Would you like me to re-roll any of my dice, Andy? Ooh, um, I'm going to go for the blue this time. The blue. Really? I would have went for the purple. Oh, he still got it off. I would have also gone for the purple, but that's good. I was yeah. pledging the bets. <laughs> yeah, he well, cancelled the single success, so that's, that's now four. Four. That's still not bad. Yeah. So the uh, bonus for the extra attackers, just yep. in case people are confused at home, is attackers attacking in the same dice pool. Yeah. You can't attack in the same dice pool unless you're in the same situational awareness yeah. with the same weapon. Yeah, and the, the whole concept is it's the, they're getting in each other's way a little bit. Yeah. So the opponent gets a little bit of a bonus. Yeah, they get like almost a 50-50 chance yeah. of blocking some damage. Yeah. If they get a critical, they're even happier. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Just the one. Right, so Four that more. turns one of my success uh, criticals into a success, yep. and he takes another three wounds. Ugh. So one of the good changes we felt about this is if you remember some of the earlier videos, it sometimes felt very grindy in how much damage yeah. was done. In this, this, choppy. this is very choppy, and the higher wounds means that the orcs are now tougher than mm -hmm. they used to be, but they're constantly losing those wounds, and yeah. worse, they're taking the fear. Yeah, you see, there's, there's nothing wrong with making something really tough, yeah. So long as there's something that's really choppy to come after it. Yeah. You know, so you don't feel like you're just, you know, carving just tiny slices off them. You know, Unless it's a terror, else. and then, oh yeah, unfortunately but you that's are. A terror. Yeah. When you come across one of them, you are cutting tiny slices off, as you've probably seen if you've watched some of the beta camp. Uh, also, if you missed the, the beta weekend, go back and check it out. We were live blogging. We did some live streaming mm -hmm. stuff with the guys. We had a great time. Uh, on with this game. <laughs> That's uh, pretty much resolved the first combat there. Yep. So, so Andy, as his charge, yeah. can choose to charge the Halberdier uh -huh. into me instead of Pierre, because only one of them is going to maybe be able to make base contact. Yeah. Now, I don't know which one Andy's going to do. A little useless gnome or a high-impacting Halberdier? I'll grab the Halberdier. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So, here you go, sir. Put it down where it belongs. So, we'll turn him, move him slightly. I assume be a little forgiving when you're rejigging oh, people in and around these. In these 3D terrain environments, you want to be as forgiving as possible. It's yeah. definitely more for fun yeah, than highly competitive. competitive. Got it. Especially as, like, in this situation, things start going wrong quickly. Yeah. Um, you've got models, like, here, Andy's models, you can't see their bases completely. Yeah. Now, there are... We all know the person that would be like, I'm sorry, your models, model's bases are overlapping. <laughs> yeah. But... You don't want to play them in this kind of environment. No, no. So just be a little bit free and easy. You are in a more of a zone rather than actual real space. Yes. Uh, unless you're me and then you're trying really hard to push out and you're <laughs> trapped. <laughs> so no, I don't know. You might pull a muscle if you try and push out too hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is it's back into the combat. Yep. Andy can play cards first, then I can play cards. Yeah. But I can't forget the goblins are there. Yes. And I'm wondering, were you saving cards from that last round for this round? I was, but what I wanted to happen didn't happen, so... Oh, I see. I don't know, I don't think you did too bad with that <laughs> No, no, I did really well. Yeah? It's not what would make my card better. Oh, I see. Right. It's time to break out the flaming weapon. Ooh, Ooh so Andy's going to hit back with burning, fiery, death, death. Yeah, and Indeed. this is outside of the normal combat action, yeah. so you have to roll? What are you so rolling? Pierre will be casting his magic. Which he has just a little bit of. A little bit. Gets, That's quite a bit of magic. Yeah. Just a bit of magic. Pierre yeah, isn't very, combat orientated. Yeah. It's not exactly focused magic, but it's just, you know. Then there's a red dice. I suppose. So is that that fiery core? Yeah, so two of these are actually caused by equipment that he's got. Ah, he's got two magical loci. That's his book and his wand. Magical loci is just a generic name given to anything that helps you magically. Okay. And it's one-handed. So it could be uh, an engraved skull. Yeah. It could be the bones of your enemies. Okay. It could be a nice rabbit that you really like to stroke just before you cast the spell. Oh, geez, lucky bunny. So anything that helps you focus. Yeah. So that's why he's got so many green dice. Mm. Roll them. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Three. So, and a hit, yeah. 
Yeah, so that's three extra blue dice. I'm assuming that was targeted at Rafa. The Habadier. The Habadier, ooh. He's going for it. Oh, that's the, right. So I'm guessing this is to cause me to have to choose to kill the Halberdier or to try and kill Rafa. Mm. He's a little I... bit hurt now, so uh, the Halberdier's going to have to take the front line. Yeah. yeah. Now, does the Halberdier have the better situational awareness is the question you need to ask yourself right now. No. no. So he's the same as Karlek and Rafa. Uh, so there's a bit of baiting going there. Yeah. So my goblins, they're going to go first. Yeah. They are, yeah, going to kill Rafa. Okay, go for it. Or not, as the case may not be. Actually, not so bad. So there's not three so hits bad. there. There's three hits. Would you like me to... So Andy can parry every attack. He can re-roll one dice. So yeah. it's not like you parried once. So I'm assuming I'm going to be re-rolling the dice. Of course. Andy gets it anyway. So, so three land. Three land. It's a green, so there's no criticals. Yeah. So it's three landing. Yeah. Right, this is going to be ignominious if your hero dies to goblins. Your hero dies to goblins. Yep. That's good. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> it makes me feel like <laughs> I shouldn't laugh so much. <clears throat> bad, bad creators of games. <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly, on the numbers, you should have survived that. You know, uh, on the, the actual laws of probability, you should have survived. So yeah, the big the big dude is gone. Yeah. The goblins walk home with their trophy. They're probably gonna leave now. Well you see, what would they take off him as a trophy? Get his boots? His boots? Oh, yeah, boots. Yeah, take his boots. Uh, and yeah. a helmet. He, he's wearing um in real game terms, not yeah. not necessarily our game terms, in real world terms, thousands and thousands of golds worth of armour. So uh, they're probably gonna be lugging that back with them. They the might not. Him still inside. Yeah. John, on the other hand, they're not bothered about it anymore. Yeah. We got our bit. We're out, Moss. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, Andy. Well, that's the way it goes, doesn't it? So, Andy, you get to strike with your halberdier, and this is where Karlek uh, meets an untimely fate. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious if that's what happened. Right, so it would normally have been a blue and a purple. Yeah. But three blues from the flaming halberd. Oh, no. Look away. Revenge. Look away. Ooh, not quite so bad. But Just so three. That's okay. three. I can force Andy to. I can parry one. Yeah. So I'm going to make Andy re-roll one of his blues. Yeah. Because I don't want the chance of the purple scoring a critical. And good shot. So it's down to two. Now my defense is only purple. Mm -hmm. It. You could crit. But I. One thing before I roll any dice. Yeah. Halberd's high impact. So I go down a level of dice. Oh. High impact one. Interesting. So I've only got a blue. So no crits? No. So I've just taken two wounds on Karlek. That's a fair trade. Yeah. He, and he's, he still has to fight. He does. Was he a lower situational awareness than the Halberdier? Simultaneous. So even if I ah, died. You would have got to hit. I'd have got to hit. Fair enough. He is on fear? He's on three fear. He's taken three wounds. Okay. Now, the way fear works under the current system is you get your morale, so his is blue, so it's three points. Okay. So they're level, the same situational awareness. Yeah. Plus every additional model in your unit. Mm. He's got two goblins backing him up. Yeah. So those goblins going, come on, mate, you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, build your pool. Yeah. So two of them for his skill. Okay. A red, a blue, and a green. Uh, this is against the halberdier. Yep. Ooh. That is not good for Andy. Uh, that is five hits. Ow. Andy only has purple defense. Dead? So he, he's dead. He can only crit off two, there's three wounds. Yowch. Karlek. <sighs> Friend in room. <laughs> yeah. smash. So this has suddenly really, really opened up. So you've got the little wizard still here, a spearman. <laughs> Karlek standing. The wizard's still stuff. engaged. Oh, <laughs> so but actually, no, he's not engaged because he didn't charge. Oh, because it was the halberdier who charged. So the wizard is actually clear. damn it out of Carlia Cans. <laughs> he Why is, however, so <laughs> going to be running back upstairs. Really, you're going to book it? Uh, he's currently suffering thirteen fear tokens. Oh, <laughs> to his uh, you know, morale of three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> don't like it today. He's he's seen enough carnage. It's out of here time. 
You, you know, this is what happens whenever you hire the cell swords as a decorating company. They paint red, just not with paint. <laughs> it's the goblins that have done it all. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. So what would your, you'd like your action to be? Pips are gone. Got to bring more down. All right. So it's going to be getting more of the what City Watch down into the next level. Okay, so these two guys, can they activate together? Uh, they can move into... They have to be within an inch. Ah, to see. be a unit. So Andy can move one to be within an inch of the other one. Yeah. Right. Now, the benefit for Andy is I can't kill anything anymore. Yeah, but you can move yourself into a really good blocking position. So what's going to happen is this guy's going to move over here and his yeah. goblins are going to follow him in. So that's Karlik, pardon me, for one momentum. Uh-huh. And then what are you doing yourself, Andy? On uh, the he's moment. moving those. Yeah, so, so it'll just be uh, this one moving over. Within an inch, I assume? Within an inch of him. Okay. And then on your side, Cad. The goblins are. Filling the hole? Filling the hole. And this is mainly because I know that in the near future, I'm going to put him at the top of the stairs there. Yeah. In the near future, this guy, Frankie, uh -huh. is not having a good day. You named your victim? Yeah, he's one of the uh, Kickstarter streets of miniatures. Oh, right. So he is named. Oh, that's fair enough then. All right. All right. Next, we'll be activating the mage. Okay, so the mage over here. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of noise going on there. Yep. I don't Just think a little you bit. need to track it. I think it's pretty much automatic. She so would know yes. there's something wrong downstairs now. Agreed? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's walk out for that. She's yeah. down to the next level. Yeah, so she's down here. And she'll be here. here and. Uh, boat woman? Now, at this point, Orphazine and the dwarves are about to head up. Yeah. Because. There's all this fighting going on, and they're not part of it. Yeah, yeah. It's not really fair. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to move them up. Okay. So she can move six inches, uh -huh. and the dwarves can move five. So she's going there. Mm -hmm. The two little dwarves. There you go, sir. And their goblin that was with them. Yeah, there is one more goblin. They're going to be. You see that that little bugger has probably smelled the steel covered in blood now. <laughs> yeah, he knows there's booty upstairs. Yeah, hasn't had to do the work for it, but he's going to have some. Mm. So, yeah, this is this is getting pretty crowded again. All right, it'll be Amelia coming in now. Okay, uh, I would say the other two by this stage know there's yeah. something going on. Definitely. The Raffer's just sprayed across the wall, screaming. There's yeah. <laughs> ah! ah! the Bowman. Yeah. So there's two City Watch going. We're not going downstairs, actually. <laughs> All three of them down into the next piece. Yep. yep. Gotcha. Would you like your bowman near the gap so she can just start shooting at people? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Okay. Was uh, yeah, I'm not declaring a reaction. I can't see anybody worthwhile. Yep. I definitely can't see your bowman because that's me trying to shoot from there uh, through a floor to there. Yeah, how about no? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, well, I don't know. You could maybe get get through someone's boot if you pull hard enough. You know, <laughs> yeah. Just... Ah. Yeah. Pierre, on the other hand, might take a bullet to the face if he activates. <laughs> uh, this, yeah. this this feels so rough. There is one kind of action Andy can do that I can't react to, right. and that is removing fear. Ah. Now, for one momentum, he can remove one fear. That's probably why he's not doing it because <laughs> he's got thirteen fear. Yeah. There's not really much point. Yeah. That's all setting up for the next turn. Okay. So it's going to be two for the City Watch. Okay. So from where they are here, I assume they're moving into the top of this. To there. Yep. I'm not reacting. Okay. And then the last momentum will in fact be a shot down the stairs. From who? From the Archer. At? Straight into Karlek. And unfortunately, like I said, Marcus can't shoot at the target. Yep. There's a model in the way, yep. so I can't charge them. That's the problem in fighting in tight confines is people can shoot off bows. Yeah. You don't block line of sight with friendly models. Yeah. So I'm about to take an arrow to the face. Take a shot, which is why I think you were thinking the gnome was in, because then you wouldn't be getting shot. Mm -hmm. So it's a blue and two greens. Yep. Roll them. Two it's all right. Successes. I don't mind him rolling today. So I'm going to roll my purple. Yeah. And get a critical. Ah, so damn. block it both. The, the half plate just bounced off his armor. 
Yeah. So um, your defense is built up from your ability to dodge yeah. and equipment. Yeah. So orcs can't dodge, but he's wearing half plate. <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't need to dodge. Yeah. And that's the end of my active turn. Okay. So we clear off the first thing we do is clear off the momentum. Yep. We then regenerate momentum. Unfortunately, you've done what you set out to do. Rafa's down. Yeah. So I'm getting just six from my other two leaders. Yep. And you're just getting your leaders? Three from Orphazine. So it's not awful. You know, you've so got seven there. There's a downside. Andy also has got half of his models yeah. broken. Pierre's oh, broken. Yeah. Or dead. Aye. So Andy needs to take a morale test. Now, morale's got harsh in this game. Really? Nerve check, like really harsh. So what Andy needs to do is he rolls his morale dice for one of his characters. He picks which. Let's go for Pierre. Right. He adds an extra blue for every additional character he has. Okay, so Just one more. He needs to get as many successes as models he's lost. He's lost three? Yeah, it doesn't count the broken ones. They just count for whether you have to take it or not. Yeah. So he's now got to get three successes on two blues. Yeah, so he needs a crit. He needs a crit and a success. Yeah. No, I'm not Single today. success. At this point, the game ends. Right. So I assume Pierre looks to the rest of them and goes, Get away! Get away! Yeah, in this case, I don't know what happened. They'd hide up at the top and hope I left. <laughs> yeah. Just lock, lock the trap door. We'll yeah. leave him down there. Yeah, lock the trap door. Leave the, the interrogating Big Ben yeah. alone. You walk in and go, Look, your mates are away. We're taking this guy with us. Don't worry, we'll send you some money after. We're done with this. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, good game. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, everybody, I tell you what, drop your comments in below. What do you think of the idea of laying out your big foreground buildings as sort of mission maps? I like the idea. I think it's very, very cool. Uh, we'll move on. We'll see you again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.